Hello, my name is Brandy Joan and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be sewing up the highly requested button-up shirt that I posted on TikTok about two months ago now, maybe. So if you want to follow along with this video and purchase the pattern, I do have the link down below. I also have it on my Patreon where I post free patterns monthly and a bunch of other fun content. So this is the one that I posted on TikTok and the one we're sewing today looks a little bit different because it's a solid fabric, but it's still the same process, same pattern, everything's the same except for the fabric. All right, let's get to it. So you're gonna need scissors, pins, thread, buttons, hand needles, interfacing, and of course your fabric. I chose a pretty silky charmeuse, shiny. First, you wanna bring your collar over and make sure that the under collar has interfacing. Then sew them right sides together, just around the outer edge. Give it a good press and trim the excess fabric around the corners. Next, you wanna bring your collar back over and turn everything right side out. I like to use my scissors to sharpen the corners. Give that a good press and set it aside for later. Next, you want to bring your facing over and make sure that has interfacing on it as well. And sew or serge the curved edge. Bring your facing back over to your center front piece. And you're going to want to lay those right sides facing together. And sew all the way up to the notch on the neckline. And this is also where you're going to add your understitch. Next, you want to bring your lower back piece over and sandwich it in between the two yoke pieces. So the two yokes have the right sides facing together and the lower back piece, it doesn't really matter where that goes to be honest, not, not in this step. There's how I have mine laid out. So. If you're working with delicate fabric, I like to baste my shoulder seams. Now you can bring your front pieces back over. Where's the other one? Oh, there we go. And sew the front to the back at the side seams and the shoulder seams, but don't sew the facing into the shoulder seam just yet. I should have my facing sewn into the notch on the neckline, but I don't here, so do as I say, not as I do. Match up the center back notch on the collar and on the shirt, and sew all the way to the notch on the neckline. I did not mean to zoom in this much. It was an accident, but it still shows you what you need to see. Now you want to fold the top collar all the way to the notch on the neckline and sew with the stitch in the ditch. Once your collar is attached, fold it towards the bottom of the shirt so the right sides are facing together and the collar is sandwiched in between the facing. Now you want to clip the curved edge of the facing so it folds easier and you also want to give it a good trim. 
around the corner and anywhere you feel like you need to. Then you want to sharpen the edge right there like you did the collar. Trimming the excess thread. Those loose threads. Get rid of them. And then at this point, if you were adding top stitching to the collar, you can also add it to the facing. Carrying it all the way along the neck if you want. Now you can fold the last bit of facing into the shoulder seam and finish with a stitch in the ditch or hand sewing. Next, you want to sew up your sleeve with the right sides facing together. And finish with a double fold or blind hem. Then set your sleeves into the shirt. This is the point where it really starts to come together. Gorgeous. On to the buttons. The pattern already has a button placement laid out for you, but I recommend trying the shirt on first to make sure that you get them exactly where you want them to be. I like to mark where my first button will go, then use my Simflex folding gauge to evenly space the rest. The pattern has three buttons, but I'm adding four buttons. The last step is to finish with a double fold or blind hem and you're done. This was my first YouTube video so I'm still getting the hang of things but I'm super excited to share this project with you and I'm really looking forward to making more. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe.